Cystic pancreatic lesions are being detected with increasing frequency. Most of these lesions are pancreatic cystic neoplasms. Introductal papillary mucinous neoplasm, mucinous cystic neoplasm, serous cystic neoplasm, and solid pseudopapillary neoplasm account for the majority of pancreatic cystic neoplasms. In main duct IPM ends, the main pancreatic duct is cystically dilated, as can be seen in the CT and MRCP. On EUS, the main pancreatic duct is dilated with or without mural nodules and intraluminal debris or mucus. On resected specimen, notice the dilated main pancreatic duct and notice the tumor at the head of the pancreas. In branch duct IPMNs, the branch duct is cystically dilated. MRCP may show the communication between the branch duct IPMN and the main pancreatic duct. On EUS, the branch duct is cystically dilated. Occasionally, the communication between the cystic lesion and the main pancreatic duct may be demonstrated. On resected specimen, the branch duct is cystically dilated. The lesions form multicystic grape-like structures. Microscopically, IPMNs show introductal proliferation of columnar mucin-producing cells. The epithelium can be flat or papillary. In some cases of IPMNs, duodenoscopy may reveal a patulous duodenal papilla and mucin extrusion through the orifice. Mucinous cystic neoplasms are predominantly macrocytic. Septations may be present, which may be more conspicuous on MRI. Peripheral calcification on CT is nearly specific for mucinous cystic neoplasm. On EUS, mucinous cystic neoplasm may be uniocular or septated. The resected specimen may be uniocular or septated. The internal surface of the specimen shown is glistening with mucin. Mural nodules are also seen. Histologically, mucinous cystic neoplasms are characterized by ovarian-type stroma, composed of densely packed spindle cells with sparse cytoplasm and uniform elongated nuclei. The presence of ovarian-type stroma is a requirement for diagnosis. EUS FNA or IPMN or mucinous cystic neoplasm may reveal thick mucinous cyst fluid. The fluid is usually high in CEA concentration, and cytology may reveal mucinous glandular cells, as seen in the inset photomicrograph. Serous cystic neoplasms are usually polycystic. The central nidus often calcifies, as seen on the pre-contrast CT. EUS shows the characteristic microcystic nature of a serous cystic neoplasm. EUS FNA of a serous cystic neoplasm may reveal thin and non mucinous cyst fluid. The fluid is usually low in CEA concentration, and cytology may reveal cuboidal cells with small round nuclei and clear cytoplasm. This is a characteristic gross appearance of serous cystic neoplasm. The lesion is composed of numerous tiny cysts. The cysts are arranged around a central fibrous scar. The central scar may be calcified, as in this case. Histologically, serous cystic neoplasms are lined by a single layer of cuboidal epithelial cells. A solid pseudopapillary neoplasm is seen on CT, which is a heterogeneous, partially solid and partially cystic mass. Calcifications may be seen occasionally, as seen on the CT of another patient. On EUS, solid pseudopapillary neoplasm may be solid, mixed solid and cystic, or cystic. Here we see a cystic lesion with septation. The cyst fluid of a solid pseudopapillary neoplasm is usually low in CEA concentration, and cytology may be highly cellular with monotonous sheets of densely packed cells. Solid pseudopapillary neoplasms are usually large, round, and solitary. 
Cut section of solid pseudopapillary neoplasm reveals solid areas that are lobulated and light brown to yellow in color. There may also be zones of hemorrhage and necrosis. The cystic spaces may be filled with necrotic debris. The solid portions of solid pseudopapillary neoplasm are composed of poorly cohesive, monomorphic cells. These cells are admixed with hyalinized or myxoid stromal bands. Pseudopapillae are formed when the poorly cohesive neoplastic cells drop away. Here are some tips and tricks for EUS FNA of cystic pancreatic lesions. The movement of the needle is easier when the echo endoscope is straight. Always try to maintain the echo endoscope as straight as possible. Scan the needle pathway using color Doppler mode to identify and avoid vascular structures. Always keep the needle in the visual plane during EUS FNA. Aspirate or fluid, make one needle pass and use antibiotics in order to minimize the risk of cyst infection. In summary, cystic pancreatic lesions are being detected with increasing frequency. Pancreatic cystic neoplasms account for the majority of these lesions. EUS may provide detailed imaging of cystic pancreatic lesions. Analysis of cyst fluid may aid the differential diagnosis of these lesions.